Today, China is a beautiful, industrialized country with wonderful landscapes and really good food. But now, we must take a trip back in time. The year is 1911. The current dynasty ruling China is the Qin Dynasty. The first outbreak of the revolution was in Wuchang, China, when there was mutiny among the troops. The people were not happy with the current government. Nanjing was the first area to go to a provisional government. In March of 1912, it transferred to Beijing. The social side of the revolution beginning was because of the lower class people getting sick of the foreigners ruling them. The political side began because the current feudalistic dynasty allowed for an agreement to be signed on April 5, 1911, that set a four-power group of foreign bankers for construction of lines on the Huquang Railroad in central China. So Chinese commoners took matters into their own hands. Sun Yat-sen was the leader of the revolutionaries, but at the time everything was happening, he was over in other lands. When he eventually got back, he stepped down to allow Yang Shikai to become and stay the emperor to unify the country. Before he stayed emperor, however, he was urged to save the dynasty, but didn't act soon enough and gave in to negotiation, negotiations. The ultimate reason for revolt was because of the decline of the Qin dynasty. They were not being an effective government and wouldn't confront foreign aggression. Underground anti keen groups broke out into a civil war and the government became a republic. Over a year span, anti keen groups were formed underground and overseas in exile. They attempted many times to overthrow. They were usually found out and executed. They captured Wu Chang and made it their headquarters. They had warfare capturing cities. The government tried to resist and revolt and killed many revolutionaries in battle and execution but it took from 1911 to 1912 to fully take over the government. Following the revolution, China went from a feudalistic to a republican government. The people wanted a more self-run government. In 1910, Sun Yat-sen made a large army. With that army, he started to attack the Qin Dynasty on October 10, 1911. Then on November 15, China's 24 provinces had declared independence from Qin rule. After the revolution, China became a new republican government and the Nationalist Party was created. Post-revolution was also when Yan truly became emperor. Economically, China established new trade and Japan forced Yan to grant sphere of influence in Manchuria. Socially, there was growth of China's working class and China established a new socialism. Much later, in 1949, the Communist Party grew stronger and took over Beijing. The Communist Party then led to the abolishment of the feudal marriage system and unified its people. This was led by Mao. Globally, this helped China transform into an industrial and military power. Later in 1921, it birthed the Communist Party that unified and sprung national independence. Thank you. I love refrigerators.